All right. Uh, we are now working on our fifth piece in the prehistory era, and this is the beaker with ibex mo motif, sometimes called the bushel with the ibex motif. It was discovered in Susa, Iran, in a burial spot, and Susa, Iran, Iran is a location. It's also a time period in Iranian history. So let's... Take a look at this more closely. The form of this piece is that it is a vessel. Form refers to kind of describe this. So it is about the size of a big gulp. It is intended to, well, we'll get to function in a minute. It, so, but you can see it probably holds something, holds water, holds some beverage. It is geometric in its design. It is, I didn't put that on my little list here, but it's also very focused on animal in its design. So some correlation with the lifestyle of the, the um, herder is what I'm guessing. And then terracotta is the material that it's made of. We see that here in the identifiers. You guys see terracotta pots all over the place, I'm sure here in Spokane. And this is same material, just painted. Okay, content, and in this video, I feel like there's a lot of overlap between form, content, context. So I'm gonna call this content, but you can, if you're having a, if you have a question about form, this could also relate to that. So sometimes there's not a huge difference between content, context, and form. Content. The ibex is the star of this piece. It is a mountain goat type species. There are a lot of varieties in this uh, species family. And notice just obviously it's the horns that are the main feature here. Created in a circular pattern, which always obviously mimics an ibex in real life, but still very geometric, very simplified representation yet still stunningly beautiful notice down to the detail here that there's a beard on this ibex and there's a beard on our ibex but again done in a kind of linear geometric way and then the body of the ibex is also very geometric right it's like two triangles placed together rather than it being you know, the huge body of the ibex, which we can see here in real life. This significance of the ibex, it is found in this piece right here. This is like a cup, uh, which wouldn't sit solidly on a surface. This is the bottom of the cup. But again, ibex horns displayed most prominently. Over here, this is rock art from Saudi Arabia in the region of the Middle East near Iran. And again, ibex horns featured quite prominently. So an amazing animal in this culture. And then I just want to point out if you're a hunter or if you're an animal person uh, interested in the ibex, that they are in New Mexico in the United States because these animals are um, capable of really adapting to a, a, a rugged environment. They hang out at about 6,000 feet and they they have uh feet that have a hard exterior but a soft interior like a cup and so they're able to climb on nearly vertical surfaces amazing okay another content piece is an egret an egret for us is like a great blue heron this is a great blue heron photo from california this is an egret that is in Iran, and here they are. They are the topmost register. We call the division of this this art piece into three big segments. The top it, it registers, and the top is this very linear vertical egret. So cool. The next register down, you can see right here. It is of a saluki, a dog that was used in hunting. Very lean fast hunting dog uh you know looks to me definitely like a wiener dog but that's not what it is 
So second register down, a Saluki, and then again, the main event, the Ibex. But what's centered in this in this Ibex is this uh, pattern symbol that we're not quite sure its function. Was it something from the patron, the person who hired the artist to make this object? Or was it the artist symbol saying, hey, this is made by Jimmy? Um, or is it a decorative pattern that stems from this natural um, environment and existence and portrayal and art of the culture that is close to nature? So you can see that this pattern here is almost like birds in flight, right? It's kind of the wing pattern. We're going to see that again. Okay, then the other thing, last thing I want you to know is that the function of this is that it's a funerary object. It is buried with a person who's died. So we think art historians do after analyzing lots of different of these, that the one that we have in our set is just made by a highly skilled artist. I want you to see here, this is one that is not in our set, um, but in an attribution essay, you might be given this picture and you'd have to say, hey, what's that like? And you'll say, oh, that's like our beaker with the Ibex motif. And really, it's practically identical, isn't it? Um, this has actually got reclining dogs on it. So um, just, to, just to show you that this is a commonality in this early Sousa culture and that the artists make choices about how they represent the uh, Saluki dogs, the egrets, although the egrets here are the same, quite similar actually, um, the representation of an ibex with just the horns and not this geometric body with the tail and the pronounced beard. So artists make choices. Patrons may who will pay for it may influence the artist's choices as well. Okay, and derive from a culture that's close to animals. That is our beaker with the ibex motif.